Despite its prevalence, some people are still in the dark when it comes to this developmental disorder. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top five myths about autism. Do you feel happy because you like to connect with people or because you like to ignore people? I like to talk to people. Do you like to talk right now like we're talking? Yeah. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at some of the misconceptions that continue to surround autism. What Larry's doing is art. He might be saying a lot of things, and then all of a sudden there's this quiet, there's this real calmness. Number 5. People with autism can't do anything. This could not be further from the truth. Autism is a spectrum, and while it's true that many of those who have autism are nonverbal and or afflicted with an intellectual disability, that doesn't mean that they're incapable of achieving great things in their lives. In fact, many people with autism have average IQs and have shown that they can excel in a variety of personal, professional, and creative pursuits. This samples are for my exhibition in Sydney. It's part of the big anxiety festival. We're talking about anxiety. We won't beat around the bush. Autism presents a world of limitations to those afflicted by it. But to dismiss their potential would be nothing short of ignorant. Autistic people like myself, we hope for respect as human beings, understanding of our culture, because we are all humans. And I'd like to see that. Number four, vaccines cause autism. We know anti-vaxxers have their arguments, but when we start seeing cases of diseases that we had previously all but eliminated, well, it's time to start reevaluating your priorities. There's only ever been one study that connected autism to vaccines, and its findings were deemed suspect before finally being retracted in 2010. The doctor behind this 1998 study, Andrew Wakefield, was accused of fraud and had his right to practice revoked. Any subsequent attempts to establish a correlation have failed. When you get down to it, the case against this myth is ironclad. And yet, for whatever reason, people still continue to put stock in it, risking lives in the process. I think what ABC has done here is further legitimize her views. Um, and those are views that have been shown not only to have absolutely no founding in science, but also to be potentially really dangerous. Number three, people with autism don't feel or express emotions. The fact that this myth still prevails is truly shocking. Yes, people with autism can feel emotion. And guess what? They can express emotion too. It was a rebirth for him when he started typing because then he could get all his thoughts out and express himself. From anger and fear to happiness and excitement, People with autism feel all the emotions that the rest of humanity feels. The only difference is that they communicate them in ways that may seem abnormal to the untrained eye. For Larry, art is language. Good. Through painting, he communicates complex ideas yeah. about autism and society. Additionally, people with autism can understand the emotions of others, but there are limitations. Because a symptom of the disorder is a difficulty with social interactions and communication, someone with autism is unlikely to detect emotions based solely on body language or tone of voice. Look at mommy face. Happy. Good job. And what mommy feel right now? Sad. Good boy. Number two, people with autism don't want friends. Everybody wants friends, including people with autism. While it can sometimes feel as if people with autism are shy or detached, it is simply a symptom of their disorder. Oh, Julia? Uh, Julia's just concentrating on her painting right now. Being unable to communicate properly would make anyone hesitant to spark up a conversation with someone they don't know. So being sensitive when establishing a relationship with someone who is afflicted with autism is essential. As always, it's important to keep in mind that people with autism express their emotions differently. So if at first they seem aloof or unfriendly, don't let that discourage you. Do you like when people are mean or nice? Nice. Do you like when people ignore you or answer your questions? Questions? Number one, autism means you're like Dustin Hoffman in Rain Man. Practically 26 minutes at Jeffrey. We'll bring him right back. We've said it before and we'll say it again. Autism is a spectrum. And according to Michael Rosenthal, a pediatric neuropsychologist from the Child Mind Institute in New York City, 
Not every person on the spectrum will have a special talent like that of Ray Babbitt in Rain Man. There is no one way to classify someone who's afflicted with the psychological disorder, as the effects vary from case to case. A lot of these like special abilities come from being very, very, very interested in something. As such, you'd be wise to keep an open mind whenever you meet someone who has autism, because he or she may be able to do things that other people with autism cannot, and vice versa. Because we realized that there was not simply one gene for autism. In fact, the current estimates are that there are 200 to 400 different genes that can cause autism. And that explains in part why we see such a broad spectrum in terms of its effects. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.